let's go to the next question. Monica says, how do you go from an email inquiry or a phone consult to a proposal? This might seem basic, but I'm not sure what I should be achieving or offering in the initial inquiry to then get them to set up you know, our offering for a roadmap. You mentioned spending time with the client, but what if the client has no interest in just spending time with them? So, you know, it's all about asking the right questions, all right, in the initial phone call or the email inquiry. So the, the first thing is, is ask questions. Don't just tell. Someone's calling you and you just start going through your process and your portfolio and you're not asking the right questions like, what do you want? What's the impact on this? What's the biggest challenges, right? How are you generating leads? How are you driving traffic to your website? All of these questions, right? You need to be asking them because it's putting the attention on them. From the answers that they're giving you, then you're trying to figure out how you can actually help them and if you can actually help them. That's one of the other things too, is some people just call you for some random stuff and you're saying, man, I'm so excited to get a lead. I need to, I need to sell them. And it might not be your core offering. So you need to kind of back out of that because that could hurt you in the long run. And that could actually go into, you know, the, the next question we're going to get in. So you got to ask the right questions. For example, let's say someone called me for a website, right? And I am going to find out, well, how's their website performing right now? And what do they want? And I'm going to ask them, what's the impact if you don't fix this? They may say, hey, I don't know. And that's when I would kind of simply say, well, if you had to guess, what do you think it would be? And that always usually works. And they'll say, well, you know, maybe it's costing me a hundred thousand a month. Cool. Okay, great. Why do you think it's costing you a hundred thousand dollars a month? Well, because our website's not converting, it's not doing X, Y, and Z. Okay, cool. So what I would recommend, since this is costing you, and I re would reiterate what they said the impact, since you feel that this is costing you 100,000 a month, what I'd like to do is offer you a, a discovery meeting where we would get together for work two, three hours, and we would go and lay out everything. And here's the possible outcomes. You could love the plan, and you can go execute it yourself. You can love the plan and you may want us to do it for you. Or, you know, and then you can just keep going through those different scenarios. But that's how I would transition. So you have to ask the right questions, figure out what's the impact and what they want, and then start trying to solve and get them closer, right? You're kind of, they're on one side and they're trying to get to another side and you're the bridge. So you got to figure out how can I build that bridge and get them there. Okay. And then to answer your last question, what if they don't want to spend time with you? Then they're going to be a shitty prospect and a shitty client. So they don't want to spend time be like, Hey, if, if, if you don't want this, no problem. We may not be the best fit for you because any of, uh, we want to make sure that we fully understand the whole picture rather than just get your a generic proposal like everybody else. And that will start separating you from everybody else. So you're not a me too agency. I want you to join the conversation. Make sure you comment and subscribe. Thanks for giving me your most valuable asset, your time.